Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. If you watch the videos here on the channel, you know that I love coffee. And I've made bunches of videos about coffee in the past and today we're going to make another one. Join me as I show you how to make cowboy coffee on the trail or on the go anywhere you are. Thanks for watching. Now the right cup of coffee is a big deal and uh, I've used all kinds of different ways to try to make that perfect cup of coffee. We're going to try another method today that many say makes the best coffee and that's cowboy coffee. What I've read is that cowboy coffee allows you to make the best coffee with the least acidic flavor of any way of making coffee and certainly none of us want to have that acidic flavor so let's see what it's all about. Now this is adapted from a video that's pretty well known on YouTube by Cowboy Kent Roberts. He does his specific way of making cowboy coffee. His theory is that boiling the coffee over a more prolonged period of time decreases the acidity and makes a better cup of coffee. This is a much smoother cup of coffee, less upset stomach, things like that. So basically what you need is coffee, a way to boil the coffee, and a little bit of cold water. Let me show you guys how we're going to use our jet boil today to make this happen. First thing we'll do is get our two cups of water boiling in our jet boil. The maximum amount of water recommended by Jet Boil is two cups, so that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna put it right up to the two cup mark. And we're gonna get this thing going and get it boiling, and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. It may get a little loud, but it's not too bad with the Jet Boil. It's not super loud. Not like that truck, for example. Now while that gets boiling, let's get our coffee mill and mill up some fresh coffee. I gotta make sure that the grind is set the way I want it. So I'll do a little bit to start. That's pretty good. It's a little bit of a coarse grind, but not terribly coarse. Now this is where it might get a little tricky because if you know the jet boil very well, it's good at boiling, but its controller doesn't allow you to really adjust very much. So we're gonna see if this works or not. But I think you'll see as we've got a nice rolling boil now, we can try to adjust it down just a little bit. There we go. You can definitely keep it boiling. You can see guys it is just boiling and you have to barely have this thing on. You want to try to get as many of these grinds off the side and honestly next time I, sh I got a little excited next time I need to get it boiling just like this barely boiling and then add the coffee because it created an issue without question. I'm going to get some element of grinds in there. All right we're just going to let this boil for about I don't know five minutes. All right, it's been going for a good while now. And those of you who follow the channel know that I don't like black coffee very much, but you know what? This is supposed to make smooth coffee. So we're gonna turn this off. We're gonna pull this off. Now, what he says to do is to get a little bit of water, use a little bit of cold water across the top just to settle the grinds, okay? It also will cool it enough for you to be able to drink some. When you put that cold water in, it will keep the grinds on the bottom. Now we're just going to pour it in, hopefully not get many grinds. I'll tell you, I didn't see any grinds go in there, guys. And there it is. Let's give it a try. So let's give this thing a try and see. I've got one of my favorite meals here. This is the Good To Go Thai Curry. It's good. That's going to be lunch today. So like I said, I don't drink black coffee because of that acidic taste. So let's see what it's all about. Hmm, hot. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't have any acidic taste. It's not strong at all. It's really good. It worked. Now, like I said, I tried cowboy coffee a long time ago. I mean, it's probably been three or four years ago. I can't even remember really that big of a difference. Maybe I did it wrong back then because this really worked. And normally, I do not drink black coffee at all. This is good. And there's no grinds in there. I think old cowboy Kent Roberts knows what he's talking about. All you need to be able to do is control your boil so that it just boils lightly 
for five, eight minutes, whatever it is you want to do. You can keep this thing boiling, I think, all day long if you really want to. All right, well, maybe not all day long, but you know what I'm saying. I wasn't sure if the jet boil would work well, but I had this idea and it actually worked. You have to turn it on the very lowest setting. Basically, it would probably not work otherwise, but it worked just fine. Y'all can see it, it boiled for five minutes, no problem. And since it's a jet boil, it probably used hardly any fuel whatsoever. So why did I do this? Why did I try the cowboy coffee knowing that I really don't drink coffee a lot without creamer? Well, obviously I wanted to see whether or not it would work. And it had been so long since I'd done it that I really didn't even remember if it worked. I can tell you guys that it does work and I'm real excited because this means that if I happen to forget my creamer or if I'm out somewhere and I've got an ability to make cowboy coffee, I'll drink this all day long. It really is amazing how much smoother it is by just boiling out the acidity, I guess. Leave it to a cowboy. I'll put a link down below to Cowboy Kent Roberts' original video, at least the one that I saw. He makes it in much higher volume, but he explains the process a little bit better than I did, probably. It's worth a look because it's really interesting, and I think if you're looking for a new and interesting way to make coffee, this is a good one. I don't know if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist dedicated to coffee in the woods, so make sure and check it out. I'll add this one to it. If you like the video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscription button. If you want to be absolutely sure you never miss any of my videos, hit that ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. I'm sitting here in front of the Little Missouri River and it's not very little. This is where it moves into Lake Greeson. So pretty excited about checking this area out. I'm gonna finish up my lunch recharge and head out again as always guys i appreciate you checking out the paleo hiker md channel stay tuned for more videos soon